What's up, Quattle Entertainment presents Quinton's Animation Extravaganza, Episode 189, Reunion with Oak. Animation Land. As you can see, Shotaro has just sent my script for Chapter 63 of Himitsu Sentai Gouranger back to me, along with his illustrations. I was just thinking about my training with Oak during the battle against the Black Cross Army. The training helped me earn all eight transformation badges. Oh, I just realized, I haven't seen him in a while. Well, guess I might as well visit him in Pallet Town. Come on, let's go! Okay, there's Pallet Town. Oh, and there's Oak coming out of his lab! Hey, Quentin! Alright, coming in for a landing! Quentin! It's been a whole year since we last saw each other. Actually, a part of one over. Can you believe it? Yeah, I just realized that, as a matter of fact. I actually became the ultimate power buff since we last met. Well, we did meet after that, since you were able to catch Mew and its powerful clone, Mew too. Anyway, I saw your ultimate form when you were fighting Queen Metallia. I was amazed at how big you were in that form. Oh yeah, I didn't believe in myself when I first unleashed it. When was that? This was just after the battle with Iron Tiger Mask. I had become the ultimate power buff after we defeated the previous mask monster, however, I didn't know that I was already the ultimate power buff until we defeated Iron Tiger Mask. Wow, how could that be? Very simple. There is only one dragon type technique. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. Your training sure helped me a lot during the battle against the Black Cross Army and during the battle with the Dark Kingdom. Thanks for all your help. Without it, I wouldn't have been able to avenge my family. Oh, well, what happened? My family was killed by Gold Mask. I came here to Animation Land, I met the Go Rangers, my power started the show, and we annihilated Gold Mask. So technically I did avenge my family, but it wasn't enough, so I joined forces with the Go Rangers in order to exterminate the entire Black Cross Army. Oh wow. After the entire Black Cross Army was extinct, I resurrected my family, as well as every other fallen friend of my allies and me. Wow, I didn't know a power buff could even do this. Well, how would you like to see my lab? Oh yeah, that'd be nice! Alright, come on in. Here are my three aides. They're of great help to my studies of magical creatures. Well, nice to meet you all. Oh, that reminds me. I would like to give you a free copy of my magical creature encyclopedia, as thanks for helping me complete it. Without you, my dream would have never become a reality. Wow, this is amazing. How does it work? Well, the table of contents page shows each of the 151 species of magical creatures. When selecting a species, you have an option to view its data, listen to its cry, or view its location. Mew, the new species. Height, 1 foot 4 inches, weight, 8.8 .8 pounds. A magical creature of South America that was long thought to be extinct. It is very intelligent and knows any move. Wow, this is awesome. And each species has its own page. Oh, it even has two language options, English and Japanese. That's probably my favorite part. Dad, have you got a moment? Sure, come in. Congratulations, Dad. You're a grandfather now. Oh my, she's so adorable. Who are these two lovebirds? Oh, that's my son and his wife. Their daughter was just born. Have you figured out a name for her yet? Yep, Daisy. Daisy. I think that's just perfect. Wow, I'm surprised you've already become a grandfather despite being only 33. Yeah, that is a surprise, huh? Well, I think it's time I head back to Saffron. Thanks for the magical creature encyclopedia. No problem. Come back and visit me anytime you want. You know, I think Oak might be aware of the 39 new species that have been discovered, but I'll just wait until the time comes. Anyway, thanks for coming. Stop by whenever crime attacks again, okay? Alright, see you later. This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2019.
This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is PBS, the public broadcasting service.